Have you ever had an appointment where you you end up you end up giving them two or three options, and they, and then they don't they're not ready to make a decision. Okay, you know what? And then you end up giving them like eight options later. You end up giving them more options. You never want to give a prospect more than three options. Why not? Because it's sensory overload. People will say they need to think about it simply by, by the amount of information that you put in front of them. Maybe that's why I never use a brochure or a PDF or any information about the carrier or I don't give them a folder. You know, I, I don't want sensory overload. I want to give them just enough information so that they will make a decision today, right now. I've learned that when I give people a bajillion options, they are less likely to make a decision. Now, if you give them three options and then they choose one, that's good. And then if you want to try to upsell them, then they're deciding between two options, not four. You see where I'm going with that? Because they chose one and then you're giving them another one. Because I had an agent the other day that said, you know what? I gave three options that were too small. I gave a, I think he gave an eight, a 10, and a 12. And he said the person chose the 12, and he said the person would have probably chose 15 if I'd have gave it to him. I said, well, they've already made a decision, so it's okay to try to upsell them now. To hey, the, the 12,000 is great. I, I want you to know everything. We also have a $15,000 option that I think may even be a better fit for you. Would you agree? Here it is. It, it's, it's not sensory overload when they've got one option and they're choosing from another one. But, it, but I've been guilty of giving them six options on a piece of paper, eight options, 10 options. It's sensory overload. They, need, they feel like they, they don't really need to think about it. If they say they think about it, dude, they're lying. But they think they need to think about it subconsciously because of the amount of information that you've put in front of them. So give them three options. You are the professional. You decide what they choose, what they buy, when they buy. Don't overload them with just tons of information. Give them, give them a couple of good options, two or three good options and then expect that they are going to make a decision. Sensory overload will get, uh, will get objections like, hey, I want to think about it, I'm not sure, let me talk to my spouse, you know, I need to think about it, I need to call you back, I need to pray on it, whatever. Dude, they, 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 they are ready to make a decision right now. They just don't know it yet. They need a little help from you, but don't create objections by giving them way too much information. If you like this video, if you learned from this video, I'm expect, just like you expect clients to, to buy, I expect a thumbs up on this video right now from you. Thanks for watching. From all of us at Security Venture, we help agents with leads, training, coaching, insurance leads. If you need, to, you need help get in front of prospects, you may want to call some of our consultants in our office, 833-40-AGENT, because that is all we do and that's what we focus on. Our focus is on getting you in front of people, helping you be successful, and helping you make some money as an insurance agent.